Look at this, guys. I'm swimming in two inches of water. It's magic. It's zombie ghosts, even though they're supposed to leave this place. Oh, and look, I'm drowning in two inches of water, and I need to get on land. Even though that is not nearly as cool. Although I can actually get back in the water and drown in two inches of water again. It's magic, and I'm just repeating myself, but it's magic. Okay, I'll, I will I will get out of the water before I face full life consequences. Ha <laughs> ha, I made that reference. Even though I don't fully know what that reference is, which I probably shouldn't be making it. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Okami. That's not my real voice, in case you, you're visiting this channel for, my re for the first time. Uh, that voice I did back there was not my real voice. That was just my zombie ghost voice. Okay, so anyway. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Pal Plays Okami. Last episode, we explored North Ryoshima Coast. Uh, saved a boy from being beat up by three little children. And we made Golden Fire Yoichi's Golden Fire Arrow be an actual Golden Fire Arrow with the power of cream soda. Man, that makes me really thirsty for cream soda right now. But anyway, this episode, I will be showing you guys cool secrets. This is like, this is like Waka's Prophecy. I will be showing you guys wild secrets, wind wakerness, and, 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 uh, we're going to be catching the big one. There. <laughs> Spoilers for the entire episode right there. So, I mentioned a secret, uh, but first, before I see the secret, before I see the secret, uh, alliteration, is that alliteration? I don't know. But before I see the secret, uh, I would like to examine this, because I missed this, and I would like to examine it, because I'm surprised I didn't try to, uh, use reju rejuvenate here, but if I had, this menu would have popped up so I could actually ha see if Isun has something to say about it. Wow, these stone steps are all busted up. On second thought, it's more like they fell apart with age. I don't think any amount of brushwork's gonna fix that. And he's right, because we can try to use rejuvenation, but it actually is futile, because this thing's really old, and it cannot be rejuvenated. Okay, so... As for the secret I wanted to show you guys, this is super cool. Whoa, what was... I like wave dash, that was weird, okay. But yeah, this is really... Fleetfoot. This is really cool if I can finish a sentence without Fleetfoot bugging me. Okay. Uh, you guys know how typically stray beads are hidden, right? They're usually buried in some random location during in a uh, in an area, or or they have a slight side quest or something like that. But there are a couple there are a couple stray beads that really stand out amongst the rest, like the uh, the drawing stray bead that we did with Nova. But this is another one. Uh, if you look on the map, you will see there is actually something on the map that we cannot get to. On, on the lower uh, right of the screen, there is an origin mirror that we cannot reach. Yeah, it's somewhere in that direction. So, if we try to... that we cannot get to that unless we go to the nearest origin mirror and use Mist Warp. And by looking at the map, we can see that it actually was not a glitch. It was, in fact, something that the designers put in there. Uh, when, whenever you enter a new area, the origin mirror is automatically marked on the map. And with this one, North Ryoshima Coast was indeed marked, just like normal. But also, by default, another one was marked. North Ryoshima Coast Rocky Area. This is an area that we cannot reach by any other means other than using Mist Warp, which is really, really neat. So, if we warp there... We will be brought to this ledge on the side of a mountain. Now, if we look down from here, we'll see some scenery that looks very, very familiar. We can see the uh, the restaurant down there, which, it, now that I think about it, it's a really absorbed, absurd place to put a restaurant. And we can also see the f fishing hut. Huh, huh, fishing hut. <laughs> we can see the fishing hut and the ca and the pond of cream soda. But more important, oh, and also the origin mirror from whence we just warped from. But more importantly, are the two the two p the two pieces of clover. No, the two clovers right here that we can go ahead and bloom for a free 20 praise. There we are. And also, here it is on the map, a stray bead. There you go. So just use the origin mirror and warp up to the rocky area and you can get a stray bead, which is it's pretty neat. Like, it's such a good secret. It's a quality secret. You know, there are a lot of times in games where the secret is kind of cheap. Like, for example, some of the ones in, in Ocarina of Time. 
it's just really cheap how sometimes there are secrets where it's like if you use if you use uh, uh, the lens of truth here you can see a secret that actually cannot be seen any other way and just like what really that's it's like what it's I mean, it's cool it's cool don't get me wrong but it's something where it's like really that's just kind of weird but the secret makes sense it's just such a cool Easter egg because you wouldn't think to use uh, you wouldn't think to use the origin mirror for anything other than saving and warping you wouldn't think that there would be a stray bead connected to it. So, that's really cool. Um, onward with, with the episode. Uh, before we go to Pier 9, as I so lovingly called it last episode, I want to talk to this merchant because I need to do something with him. Sounds really, really s suspicious. I need to... I need to have a deal with this guy. Hmm. Aha! That's a great idea. That would sell like hotcakes. A donut in the shape of the Oni Island. The Doni Nut. It'll be great. Look, you can see Oni Island from here. This is the perfect spot to sell Oni Island merchandise. Gotta make the best of a bad deal, right? Or you end up miserable. That demon-shaped island appeared out of nowhere a few a while ago, when the water dragon went crazy and the city got that weird fog. All that's happened since that island turned up. And every day it looks like it's in a different place, too. There can't be a weirder sight anywhere in the world. Oni Island, eh? Bet it's going to get be tough getting there. And once we get we do get there, I bet we'll wish we never did. What are you muttering about? It's time to liven up and do some business. You want shopping duty, Pooch? Then take a look. Do some shopping? Yes. Okay, uh, I'm not I'm not really interested in buying anything other than feed bags, but I am interested in selling all of my junk. Yeah, junk is being sold. Okay, sell crystals. Wow, a lot of crystals and a pearl. And now we have 126,000 yen. I'm not sure if that's all, if that's enough. You guys are probably saying like, what on earth are you buying? You, you'll see, you'll see. Uh, we're going to be spending maybe, hopefully not a lot of money, but we will be spending a good chunk of it. Okay, we, I want to grab the mar marlin rod because that's a thing that I need to get because that will be used uh, this episode. I'll, I also need seed feed bags, herbs, meat, and. Uh, no, let's no. Let's stay simple. Just go ten. I was gonna, I was going to buy more, but we need all the money we can get. Honestly, we need a lot of money. So I don't want to bother with anything else. Not even holy bones, because I have a ton. Because we need a lot of money this episode. Okay. Uh, all of the preliminary stuff is out of the way for us to go to the end of the pier and use sunrise, like uh, like Urashima had suggested. He had he had mentioned that how um how Orca, the emissary of the Dragon Palace, will appear in the sunrise for someone who's worthy. Now, I cannot think of anyone more worthy than Amaterasu, or, I guess, Isun by association. So let's go ahead and use sunrise, and hope Isun does not uh, jinx us by, by being here. Which is a really mean thing to say, but he kind of has deserved it these last couple of episodes. And welcome to one of the, mo well, not welcome to an, a character, Here's, an, here's a character that's so underrated, and he's just so cool. Something's coming. A lot of people forget about this character. This... is Orca. Spoilers, it's Orca. What's this bi- why does this big fish look so happy? It's kind of creeping me out. In case you couldn't guess that this was Orca, it's Orca. Ah. Orca, Orca, it's you. That's when you were supposed to find out that it's Orca, but it doesn't matter. It's been a dog's age. I stopped counting the years. Did you come to take me back to the Dragonia, Dr Dragon Palace? Friends again or not denied? Orca? This is that emissary or whatever of the Dragonians? If orcas, if someone tells you that orcas are not photo photogenic, slap them in the face for me, or dump a bucket of, of fish or water on them, because, look at this, orcas are so photogenic, because this is the Dragon Palace Emissary Orca. He is an orca, in case you couldn't tell. Even though he's not, like, black and white, he's colorful. A and he has, <laughs> and he has, like, the, sim the Fire Emblem symbol on his head, because of course he does. <laughs> Which is not a reason. At, la at last, one worthy of visiting the Dragon Palace. Hop on, I'll take you to the Dragon Palace. 
Heard, hear that, Ami? I'm second to none when it comes to swimming. Even that water dragon's no match for me. You heard him. What are we going to do, do, Ami? Man, if you're offered a ride on an orca, when are you going to turn it down? Or, I, I guess if you turn yourself down. Oh, I guess you already made up your mind. Amaterasu kind of denied herself. She's... Bless her heart. She's she she does her best. She tries, and Urshima is nowhere to be found. So let's just go ahead and ignore him and ignore the broken bones he must have, and jump in here in the first try. Yeah, I, I rarely do that. But man, uh, Orca is just so underrated. He's so colorful. He has he has the blue and purple, which is like one of the best color combinations ever. And he's just he's just so fun and happy and cheerful. This is Orca. Heh, <laughs> not a very creative name. He looks kind of fishy, pun intended. You want to hit your ride? Ride an orca? Yes. You do? Well, I don't suppose we have much of a choice. We might as well take advantage of him now that he's here. I'm second to none when it comes to swimming. That water dragon's no match for me. Hear that, Ami? You believe him? Maybe we should take have him take us to the dragon palace. I'm afraid I can't do that yet. Huh? You must complete the final ordeal uh, decreed by Otohime. Only then will you be worthy of visiting the Dragon Palace. Hear that, Ami? Yes, I do, Isun. Stop saying that. Hey, Orca, is this Otahime chick your boss or something? She's got a lot of nerve asking that wa letting that water dra dragon run amok. Listen, Orca, we want to ride to the down to the Dragon Palace. So let's hear about that ordeal you were talking about. The entrance to the Dragon Palace is a whirlpool, but it's hidden right now to keep out the evil beings that plague the area. You must find the wa whirlpool amid this vast sea. That is the ordeal decreed by Otohime. Hear that, Ami? Yes, I do, Isun. Just shut up. <laughs> Sounds like a piece of cake. I mean, the sea is packed with places begging to be explored. Uh, we'll ha we'll have to just have to check them out till we find that whirlpool. Man, I've been kind of rude to Isun the past couple of episodes. Like, I just told him to shut up, and uh, he's just—I don't know. I'll—I'll I'll, I'll explain it. I'll talk about it in a second. Well, what are we waiting for? Full speed ahead, fish breath. I think it may be because Isun's kind of gotten in a mood because of that interaction with, uh, with, uh, b b uh, Waka. It just, I don't know, he just seems angry, or not angry, he just seems like he's a little bit out of it. Like, he was just, he kept saying, you hear that on me? Yes, I, you know, it's like, yes, I did, Isun. Stop saying that. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe you guys haven't caught that at all, or you didn't get that impression at all. But anyway... Uh, if we look here, if I go over closer to the land, if I can go closer, there it is. You can see the normal map. But if we leave, if we go a little bit uh, further out to sea, you'll see that there's a whole new area, a whole new map. So this area is a lot bigger than we first thought. Now the Thunder Dragon will try to catch us. I will get hit, okay. Whatever. Uh, if we keep going, he can't catch us. I was just really bad there. So yeah, uh, we get to explore all of these islands, which I will be doing, except uh, stuff, reasons. I I will be cutting in between islands, I guess. Yeah, I guess. I'm not too sure about that. Uh, but let's see. What am I doing? But first, I want to grab some, some of the stuff here. So I guess I can speed up because this stuff is necessary. Or I can't get it. Okay. So I guess I'll get this later. It's... Uh, it's so troublesome getting these treasures, but I guess I'll just norm and go to the actual islands. Since this is already going to be a very long episode, I don't want to make it any longer. I don't want to procrastinate a lot. Uh, so speaking of procrastinating, there's something I've been meaning I want to tell you guys. Something I want to share. Uh, you guys have, have asked me multiple times if I can get a, get a social media account. If I could get some sort of account with social media because whenever I needed to update you guys on something that was going on, for example when I was sick or when I couldn't upload for reasons unknown or because I just missed an upload time and it, an upload will be late. I haven't been able to tell you guys by any other means other than posting a comment in the comment section of one of my most recent video telling you guys. And that is... That's just not a good a good way to reach you guys that's convenient for you. I mean, it's convenient for me, but, you know, you guys are what it's all about. And when you guys asked me if I could get a social media account, I, I totally agreed with you, but 
I am kind of a a privacy privacy nerd. And there's a yeah, there it is. I'm kind of a privacy nerd. I don't like giving out my information to a lot of people. And that's why I have a YouTube channel where I talk about my life. <laughs> But yeah, I, I wanted to make sure I went to like a, a place that had good privacy and you're like, oh no, you probably went to some random third party place, didn't you? No, actually I, I got a I got a Twitter. I got a Twitter account. I have a Twitter page now. The link is on my channel's homepage, so that's really neat. I finally can update you guys very easily. So if if ever I'm late on upload, just go ahead and go to my Twitter and you'll probably find out why. Okay, um Going back to the game I guess I guess I'm done with that let's see let's go ahead and do this and I believe there's a stray bead in here pretty sure no there's not it's a holy bone M but I know there is a stray bead on this island this island and it is right here of course uh, between three bushes although this one's a little bit different because you can't you can't even see the uh, the the chest handle so that's cool but anyway yeah stray bead nice Find all the stray beads and get a special reward. Okay, now this island is pillaged, except for one thing that we have yet to pillage. This guy over here! We have not pillaged a man. Let's go ahead and pillage a man. Man, be pillaged! Hi there, pup. Some folk worry about the water dragon and all, but if you're gonna fish, you've got to fish in the sea. All you need is all you need is a stout... Oh wait, that's not a, that's not a pun, sorry. <laughs> Resilience against the vast raging sea. I, I thought he said, like, trout, so that's why I thought it was a pun. If you got that, you hardly even need a line. Yeah, right. That chef, Umi, wants me to catch him something special. Only one fish fits that bill. The king of the sea, the marlin. I'm gonna haul in the big one and give that old guy the shock of his life. Hey, pup, do you know what you're carrying there? Any fisherman would kill for that rod. That's the marlin rod, the strongest in the world. With the with a rod that tough, there's no fish you couldn't reel in. Even the great king of the sea, the marlin. So yeah, that's why you wanted the fishing the marlin rod to bring it to this fisherman. Be nice, pup. You know that rod belongs to me. What? You were robbed of the marlin rod. Let's see what this <laughs> this marlin's ro marlin rod's got, huh? G guess you want to stick around to see this, right, pup? He stole it off. That's fine. We're gonna give it to him anyway, I guess. Just. It's just how he took it. Watch him fish? Sure, why not? Okay, Ami, you get the basic. Yes, I do. I, I, I get it. Okay, so this is just another fishing minigame. I'm actually going to cut to the big one, Marlin. Wow, this one was initial. Okay, so yeah, I'll be right back. This has got to be a big old Marlin. Let's see. This one is the hardest fish we've fished thus far. Whoa, 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 bro. Whoa, whoa. Come on, come on, buddy, come on. You can't, you can't do this to me. You can't stop my donks or match my hustle because I am Paladin, the Fisher Extraordinaire. Yeah, you got, you can't, you can't do anything. You got, you got nothing. Like except for your, except for your whirly gigs that are really useful. Like you keep changing direction, which is annoying. Okay, but no, seriously, you can't, you can't match me. No. There we go. Okay, that was close. He almost matched me. He almost matched me. Okay, just focus. I have almost full health with the fisherman. It's not dead yet. Okay, this has to be the last one. Yes, it was! The Marlin! You caught Marlin Brando! Wow! Take a look at this! This mi The mighty king of the sea, the Marlin. It finally hits the sand. I've been fishing here in Ryoshima Coast for a good few years now, but I've never bagged one as big as this before. No time to waste. That prima, that prim, prima donna chef will only take the freshest fish. I'll run this over to him now. See ya! How are you gonna run it over to him, is my question. Okay. Whatever, bro. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> okay, uh, next island. I guess I can speed up for this. Oh, that's cool. Actually, no, I don't even need to cut this out. I don't know what I was talking about, because the island's just right here. But, man, the, the theme of Orca is so good. I wish it were the theme of... of... Uh, of... North Ryoshima Coast, because that would be so cool. But it's Orca's theme, which is almost as good. You still get to hear it, at least. It wasn't cut from the game. Okay, so this... this chest, this buried thing, 
is a golden golden piece of trash. And but this over here, this is special. Right here is it's the money. It's the money. Money. It's the money. It is a What? Oh, oh, it's not it's not a cherry bomb spot. It's a dig spot. Sorry. It's this. It's that. You guys can tell what this is. Let's jump in and uh, uh, let's just jump in. We're gonna jump in and fight another bandit spider. Except this one's red. Okay, so we fought this guy before, so it's nothing new. There are no new mechanics except the fact that we are more powerful, and he is going down. Okay, one more, one more flower, one more flower, and he's. Open! Open your body, please. Okay, let's go ahead and use our new technique, um, Fire Burst. Because that will damage him a lot, and he's almost dead. Just keep keep on keeping on. And he's about to close, so I'm going to go ahead and use a, an Exorcism Slip M. And that's good, because he's about to close. But I will end off with that. Is he dead? 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 No, he's not. He's close to dead. He's very close to dead. One more hit and he's dead. So that will be very easily done. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and use this. Oh, he's wiping away my egg. Okay. Whatever. Please don't hit me with that. Whatever that was. Okay. One. Twice. Oh, once. Twice. I didn't mean power slash. Once. Twice. And three times he's open, and he's also dead, dead, die, 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 monster! You don't belong in this world. Die, last one, last. Get over there, die. There. You actually do have to kill all the lanterns, which is strange for the fact that he had a sliver of health left. But yeah, he is dead. And perfect score, which means I get 20,000 yen? Yes! Oh yeah! I needed the yen for that, okay. Now, I'm I'm hoping. I'm hoping against all hope. Oh my word, I'm hoping so badly. That, well, there's Sung Fragment, yay! But I am... And I click new unit, okay. But I'm hoping really badly that when I come back here, that there is not a Demon Gate. I'm hoping against hope. Oh boy. Is there a demon gate? Is there a demon gate? Please don't be a demon gate. Wait, there's no demon gate? There's no demon gate? There's no demon gate, guys! Yes! No demon gate! Oh yeah! That's, like, that's even more sa satisfying than not having to fi than fighting and getting a perfect score on that, that bandit spider. Not having to go through an hour and a half record time. I don't even know if it was that long. It was like an hour for this. Oh, that's so nice. Okay. Ha, huh, that that's a load off my mind. Okay, this island has nothing more for us. We got a sun fragment, which is super useful. Now let's go ahead and ride the way better than King of Red Lions, Orca. Ride him. Yes, I want to ride him. I know that this happens. Okay. Now, with Orga, let's go to the next island. I don't really need to cut these out, because they're so close together. I will have to cut out the, the big gap between them, because those are really far. But, yeah, that's pretty. it's pretty cool that I don't have to do all that. Uh, there's so many, like, there's so many treasures here. But I'll, I'll get them at a later time. Get off Orca, yes. Okay, now, how do I get up here besides using the claw shot, which I don't have? Oh, I can just jump. Okay. Now, this island, does this... Does this just have a clover? Really? It only has a clover. And a little bit of money. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, so you see the you see the closest island on the right from us, right over there? That is the one I'm going to be going to. I am going to uh Catcall Tower last, because that is a thing. 
It's it's something that I, I want to wait I want to save for last. Okay. I will meet you over by that island. I'm not sure if I explained it, but if you if you mash A you'll go faster. And where is that dragon? Dragon? Oh he's right there, okay. So yeah, uh the next this island, listen, let's go ahead and, and get off Orca. Where is the dragon right now? Okay, he's really close, okay. Yeah, if, if you if you try to swim this on your own, he will gobble you up, and you will return to the mainland, which is not, it, it's not cool. But, yeah, I just want to make sure that you know that, so you can't just, like, swim normally. Okay. It's daytime, which I actually don't want it to be daytime, just because I won't be able to see berry chests as easy, and I'm trying to get through these islands as quickly as possible. Okay, this island has for us what? What does it have? Ah, it has this. You stupid dragon. I'll I'll come back with like a bowie knife and I'll do you in. Okay, so we have this stone. It's surrounded by pots, which it's obviously asking us for asking us to power slash it because it has a hole underneath. In that hole is a cave. In that cave is who knows what. A Nirvana cave, but this one this one is unique. I'm actually going to wait to bloom those trees until I do the clovers because that'll be cool. Okay, I will, I'll bloom the stuff, then I'll talk about the special thing that's in this area. For now, I'll just hide it with the camera so you guys can't tell what it is. That That's a good solution. So the first thing that's readily apparent is that there are no animals in here because this is not your typical uh, Nirvana cave once I bloom everything. Can I bloom everything in one go? Apparently not. Maybe? No. Okay, I'll, I'll just do this. Okay. And good. Okay, now that I have all that praise, I can show you that instead of chess, there is a pool right here with a lot of money in it. A lot of money. Now, we can't grab this money, very sadly, but if we examine this, total amount offered by a Matarasu, zero yen. What is this? Let's go ahead and have Isun explain. Hey, there's money in here. Maybe it's one of those divine springs. The god of the spring is said to help those who toss in some money. Never expected to find a divine spring here, though. Now, it's asking us what we're going to do uh, to offer. Now, this is not necessary for completion of the game. However, it's necessary for 100% completion of the game, and thus I'm going to be doing it. If you offer the maximum amount possible three times, something will happen. So I'm going to have to deposit, or not deposit, because that suggests that we'll be able to make a withdrawal. I'm going to offer 20,000 yen to someone. We have no idea who. Whoa, check it out. The spring got all sparkly. This spring must love money. I bet something good will happen if you make a bigger offering. So yeah, if I do this, uh, nothing good ever comes out of having too much money. Why not cleanse your body and soul by tossing some in? I'm not cleansing my body or my soul, but I am getting rid of some extra cash. Not really extra, because I love money in this game. Okay, uh, yeah, I actually don't love money because it's not that i rather have praise. So yeah, if we do it one last time, you tossed in 20,000 yen, we'll, we will be brought to this. You guys remember Takegami? Well, I don't. <laughs> he is the deity of Power Slash. Why is he back? Because, ah, Matarasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. Only a heart as pure as your own can pierce the darkness. I, Takigami, can feel the kindness flowing from you. Our union has bestowed my power to its former sharpness. Your Power Slash shall become even more powerful. Use this skill well. I am rich. So yeah, indeed, we now have an upgrade to Power Slash. The bite of Takigami's Power Slash got more powerful. Hmm, does that mean you can cut hard things you couldn't cut before? Boy, I can't wait till you try it out. We now have Power Slash 2. If you see, the color of wh color when you Power Slash is, if I can use it, it is now bright reddish orange. That's because it's more powerful. It does more damage to enemies, and it can chop more things. It can cut easier. Uh, it, it can cut deli meat so thin, so you can make a delicious ham sandwich. 
and you can cut all of those ingredients. You can cut that lettuce, you can cut that cheese, you can cut that bread, you can cut anything. It is Power Slash 2, it is better than Power Slash 1. So, we can go ahead and leave here, and I can show you guys this new technique. Okay, Power Slash 2, what does it chop? It chops that stupid water dragon. I hate that dr dragon's theme. It's so suspenseful. Ah. Okay, it can, it can Power Slash Iron Rocks. You can see this rock here. We were not able to Power Slash it before, but we can now. Go ahead and Power Slash it, and there you go. It chops it like, uh, like, cold but uh, like warm butter through a cold knife. And we now can, can bloom this clover, getting... I can't see how much praise. 40 praise! Whoa! Okay, so we just got 40 praise, and I think we can upgrade something. Yeah, we can go ahead and upgrade our health, which I will do. There you go. We got two units of health in one episode. That is fantastic. So yeah, uh, we will be able to power slash iron rocks. I do plan on getting all of these iron rocks, because they are a big boost in praise. So I will be doing that at some point. Just not yet, because we don't have access to them all. Okay, uh, I would kind of like to do them all in one video. So, yeah, that's why I'm not doing them now. Hi-ho, orca away! Heidi ho neighbor! Okay. Actually, uh, Ryan's brother got me watching Home Improvement, and it's such a good show. Whoa, what is... Get off orca, yes. A burning chest, okay. I'm interested in that. Burning chest, not power slash. Burning chest. There you go. Crystal, neat. Let's go. <laughs> That's it. Okay, what else is here? And I want to redo the moon. Okay. What else is here? This. Okay, this is a, a this is a cherry bomb thing. Let's go ahead and cherry bomb this entrance and go inside. Eventually. Okay, I don't want to go in these steam scrolls. Uh, there's nothing else here except for this hole, which I dread what's in this hole. Oh, it's, it's another spring. It's another divine spring. Okay. That is interesting. I'm, I'm, I was really, really, really fearing that it was going to be, that it was, go that was going to be like, uh, uh, a devil gate trial cave because I hate those. Oh my word. I, I need not throw around hate, but like, I do not like those. They're so long and they're just, uh, I mean, they're, they're fun. Battling is fun. But, they're just so long, it's, it takes forever. Okay, get this last clover, and let's see how much yen we need to donate this time. I don't think we'll have enough, honestly. The gods of the Divine Spring help those who toss in some money. Anyway, nothing good's from how, yes, we know. Yeah, I will not be able to afford this, so I will wait until I have t uh, 120,000 yen. Oh boy, okay, but the but good news is, is that this means we're going to be getting another upgrade to, uh... We're going to be getting another upgrade to one of our brush techniques, so that's a, that's a thing. Okay, but I, for now, I will ignore this until such time as I have 120,000 yen. Which should be soon, maybe, hopefully. Pretty soon. Okay. The second to last island before Catcall Tower is... Where's Orca? Where's my ride? Where's my ride? Right down here? Okay, there you are. Okay, uh, let me go and unlock you and jump in. Wow, that was a really good jump. And I can ride an Orca, for, but for some reason there's always a transition screen. Let's go. Okay, this last island, I'm really interested to see what it has because we've been getting a lot of praise. And if I had gotten all those treasures that are hidden around the ocean, I would definitely have enough money to to uh, donate 100,000, uh, 120,000 yen to that uh, that spring. Okay, so there's a berry chest here and over there. Now, one thing I should note, uh, and before you guys ask, Power Slash 2 cannot Power Slash the Crystal Rocks. So take that, take whatever meaning you will from that. It cannot power slash these rocks. We cannot destroy these rocks at all yet. But we will. You guys can make whatever assumptions you please. Okay, uh, this, that, it's crystal. Good, yay. 
And you know what I might do, guys? Where's where's my ride? Okay, it's over here. I might in between episodes. Come on. I won't actually show it because it would literally take forever even if I sped it up. I might go around this area getting all of the treasure chests because it's not something that, you know, like I, I've said before, I said it last episode, it's not something that's necessary for 100%. It's not something that I don't think you guys would enjoy watching because it's not something I would enjoy watching. You know, like here, you guys can you guys can probably tell that any any definition on the seafloor means that there is a clamshell there. That's that's like the rule. So I don't need to show that. So in between episodes, I will I will go over that. Where's that me meowing coming from? Hmm, I think it's coming from that tower. It's kind of creepy, but let's go check it out. Okay, we will. We've heard some something about that tower. Uh, we heard that. There's a cat on the top of it that got turned to stone after it turned into a god, so kind of a bummer of a day. Okay, so this island has more to it than any other. Uh, you can actually, there's a, wait, there are cats here. Okay, so there are a lot of cats here. There's a save mirror there. And what else? A transition point, a loading screen, which means that'll be it for this episode. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Next time we will be heading into call, uh, Cat Call Tower, but in between episodes I will be grabbing all of the treasures that are to be had um, in this area. And if if I have enough money from it, I will start next episode off by uh, unlocking that new thing by donating all that money into the divine spring if i have enough money from all that treasure but if i don't we'll be heading directly into cat call tower i release new episodes of okami tuesdays thursdays and saturdays saturdays are long episodes and if you like this episode then comment if you didn't like this episode then comment and tell me how i could make next episode so that you would like it now uh i'm never going to be doing this again but i have a twitter now twitter so you guys should just go check it out because not because I, I'm a follower hound or anything. I don't want follows. I want, I want it to be useful. I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be like an uh, achievement thing. I have so and so followers, but yeah, I want you guys there just because I'm figuring out Twitter. If there's something I need to know, then I might ask ask it there. In fact, this is this will be a good gauge on whether or not you guys are paying, if whether or not you guys watch the entire video. If you guys go to my Twitter. Go ahead and tell, uh, uh, can you guys tell me uh, whether or not muting someone makes it so if they, if they leave a tweet on your page, if it blocks it, or if it just means that tweets they make anywhere else will be blocked. Does that make sense? I just want to make sure that by muting all of the people I follow, I'm not actually, like, making, I'm not blocking what they say. So if they say something to me that muting it, w muting them wouldn't block it. I just want to make sure that I s I'm still getting what you guys say, and I'm not blocking you. So, if you guys watch th this long, then you guys can tell me on my Twitter page if you guys have a Twitter. So, I will see you guys next time for another Paladin Plays Okami Den. It's not Okami Den. It's Okami.